Hey, I'm Will Perriman with Artec Industries, and today we'll be installing a roof rack on a fifth gen 4Runner. Let's go over the tools needed for the roof rack install. First up, you'll need a pick to remove the roof rack caps from the factory roof rack. Um, a lot of people like to use a drywall spatula or a scraper to remove them. I prefer the pick and I'll show you the pick method. Um, next up, we have a ratchet and a 12 millimeter socket in case you need to loosen up your stock roof rack. Half inch wrench, you can use a socket and a ratchet, but if you have a half inch wrench, you can get the job done as well. And then last, for the rails, we have a 732nd Allen head. Now let's go over what you're gonna get in the box. If you ordered two of the rails, this is what you would receive in the box. You'd receive two rails and the hardware pack. If you ordered the four rail kit, you would receive four rails and two hardware packs. And here's what's in the hardware kits. If you only order the two rails, this is the hardware you'd expect to get. You will receive eight press nut tabs that you insert into the factory roof rack rails. You will also receive eight 5 16 bolts and eight 5 16 washers. Don't let the black hardware fool you. This is grade eight. We black zinc them because it's all about the details. All right, let's get these suckers on and show you how to install our roof rack. It's super easy. The first step is to remove the four factory caps for the factory roof rail. If you've never popped these off before, there's a few things you want to pay attention to. You want to stay away from the paint here. A lot of people like to use the drywall spatula, but I think you run more of a risk of damaging the side of your full runner and the paint. So I, use, I like to use the, what I call the pick method, where you just fish your pick in and pop the, uh, the little tabs on the inside. You get them to pop and it pops off and you don't run the risk of damage inside by trying to pry up with the drywall spatula or scraper. And you just pull up and pop it off and there you go. To loosen up the eight bolts, I'll be using my half inch ratchet and a 12 millimeter socket. I'm gonna show you how to properly install the tabs. You're gonna want the face of the tab forward and the pem nut facing backwards into the rail. Slide them forward. And you go to the other side and do the same thing. All right, I'm gonna show you how to install the rail. We've got our tabs in. You just wanna make sure you line up your tabs to where the rail's gonna sit. And then use the 5 16 hardware we gave you. So here's a 5 16 hardware. You're gonna take one 5 16 grade eight bolt and washer. Here's a little tech tip. You wanna leave these bolts loose until you have everything together. And then once you have everything bolted up, you go through and tighten it all. This is crucial because if you tighten this side, you may not be able to get the other sides aligned. All right, we're gonna install the second rail. So if you only ordered the two rail kit, your install is pretty much done. You just go through and tighten up the eight bolts and then go through and tighten up the stock bolts to suck down the roof rack and put on the plastic caps and you're good to go. If you order the four rack kit, it's as easy as putting on two more. If you order the full set, it comes with four cross rails and the side rails. To install the side rails, you've got your eight three eighths button heads and your side rail it lines up with the four cross rails and you bolt it on. If you got the full kit, you're gonna wanna leave everything loose until you have this, the side rails on. And then once you have the side rails on, you can go in and fully tighten it up. Once you get the um, driver's side or passenger side installed, the opposite side is exactly the same. You got the rail and the eight bolts. If you order the full rack kit, you got a lot of options. You got your side rails so you can strap down to and lock stuff down to your rack. We did a number of things to make these super universal. We added a lot of slotted holes. You got four cross rails 
to bolt on any accessories you could think of. On the cross rails, we've added a stamp, which increases the strength significantly. This really is a super easy install. If you have any questions though, please give us a call at Artec Industries or visit our website at artechindustries.com. For more install videos, like and subscribe.